So, hi, my great one. This is what we're going to need for this activity. Um, first, you need quite a big brush. You need a marker. You need three primary colors. So, red, blue, and yellow. And you need a glass of water. And, like, anything that creates shapes. For example, I use my sun Lego blocks. I use um, a lid, a circle lid, and then you can be quite creative with materials as well. For example, you can use triangle, you can use um, octagon shape. You remember octagon, the one that had eight, eight sides, or maybe pentagon, it's up to you. But you find things that like, you know, the things that you have learned about shapes. And a plate, yep. So these are materials that you need for now. And we're going to start making backgrounds. This is going to be fun activity. This is going to be fun. So yeah, I put yellow paint, red and blue on the plate. And um, what I want to tell you about the paper is when you put some water, when like the, the paper is soaked, um, the paper can create wrinkles. So that's why I put some tape on to like stretch the paper and it's not going to be like curved or like wrinkled or swollen that much. So yeah, let ask your parents to put some tape on for you before you do this activity. This is the tape and this is the paper that I'm going to do. So first of all, I'm going to put some water on. And then I'm going to use my brush. Actually, you need a bigger brush for this one. But anyway, I'm going to use my brush. Put the water all over the surface. Yes, I sprayed all the water all over the surface. Make sure that the paper is damp, but not like wet, wet, you know what I mean? Like just damp, okay? And then you put a little bit of water onto the paint as well. And then here, you use red. So you can see that the water, um, the paint not spreading much because I didn't put a lot of water on. I didn't put enough water, sorry. To put the paint on like this. And then next, I'm going to put blue. You, you can like just put an, like this color anywhere on the paper that you want. I just want to create like, you can see that the color mixed together. Make sure that the color mix, okay? When there's enough water, the color is going to spread so nicely. And then you keep adding red. And then you can see that there's secondary color created here. You can see that there's purple part. Can you see that? And then yellow. Put yellow on somewhere. And you create pattern. It's watery pattern for the background. Yeah? Keep creating. You can put the color over here too. And then what do you see the color here? So red mixed with blue, you create purple. Yeah. And when yellow mixed with blue, you create green. So this is how you learn about color theory. So when two primary colors mix together, you create another color. So you keep adding. You can add red here. You can have more red if you want. Actually, actually, you can add red in the middle first. You can add blue over that so it doesn't have to be like, you know what I mean, like exactly what I'm doing here. So be creative. And then now after you fill in um, your piece of paper, you wait for the paper to dry. Okay, and Look, look here, because it's so wet and it's going to take so much time to dry, I'm going to use hair dryer to dry it up, okay, to dry my paper. That's okay. So give it a go. Okay, guys, now I'm creating pattern because now my paper is dry. So um, I start with a big circle, rectangle, square, small circle, and big circle. So this is my pattern, but pattern has to keep repeating, okay? Repeating so you repeat it again. So I'm going to put rectangle here. Yes, and then smaller Smaller square, so I'm going to put rectangle make sure that it's overlapping Okay, make sure it's overlapping So what I mean is overlap is like this 
the rectangle is on top, the circle is overlap. This is the area of overlapping, okay? And as you can see, like my marker, my marker tip is quite thin. So this is a fun part, you just trace the line. Just trace the line, make it darker. And then you keep repeating, do the square, do a small circle. Yes, find the materials that you can find from your home and then keep repeating, okay? Keep repeating, make it overlapping like this and then you create the pattern over your paper. So if you don't want to use marker, you can use black paint as well. So here I'm using black paint and make sure that I use smaller brush than the first one that I put the water over the page. So you can do it like this. It's going to be fun creating your own art, okay? Like this yeah so have fun and then i'll show you the final product on my powerpoint slide on the slides see ya